uh, Pastor Kimberly and myself here. We just want to tell you good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. Sunday. Amen. Happy Sunday. God has a word for you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. So we just thank and praise God for you all. We speak the blessings of the Lord over your life this morning. We want to thank God that you are in divine health. Amen. You're in your right mind and you're at the right place at the right time. Pastor Kimberly. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm just happy to be here. I'm glad to be here. Most of all, I am grateful to be here. Amen. Somebody say, I'm grateful to be here. Amen. How many of you are <laughs> truly grateful to be here this morning? Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. God woke us up this morning in our right mind. Ooh, Come on. You got to understand wait. me. There was some folks that didn't wake up this morning. You got now. to understand me. Yeah, There's some I'll folks that did not myself. wake up in their right mind this morning. Come, Come on, now. somebody. Come on so now. be glad. Be grateful yes. this morning. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, and bless the Lord with me this morning. Come on and bless the Lord Ooh. with me this morning. Hallelujah. I oh. will bless the Lord. Yes. At all. And, and his, his praise will shall continually be in, in my, my mouth. Oh, Hallelujah. glory to God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Come on and bless him. Come on Hallelujah. and bless him. Praise Come on him. Right and bless where you him. Because he's worthy, he's worthy to be praised. praised. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Pastor Rita. Yes, Hallelujah. he is worthy to be praised. I don't know. Mm, I don't know what you've been God, through. I don't know what you're coming out of. But I'm going to tell you this Ooh. right now. God deserves all the praise, yes, all the honor, Hallelujah. and all the glory. Mm -hmm. And even if you still mm -hmm. in your mess, he still deserves yes. all the praise yes. and all the yes. glory and the honor. Amen. As long as we got breath in these bodies, come on. We Ooh. can't help but to give him praise. Yes. We can't help Hallelujah. but to bless his name. Mm -hmm. We can't help but to honor him. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, somebody. Give God Hallelujah. a hand praise this glory morning. To God. Hallelujah. Get yourself ready. Get your praise on. Get your shout on. Get ready to receive the word by faith. Let the atmosphere in your home be turned around. Amen. And let the glory fall afresh in your home on this morning. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now do me a quick favor. That's Hallelujah. right. What we do? We share. Come share. On, Come on. Like somebody. Come All on. Right. Come on. If you can, go ahead and, 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 and start one of those watch parties. Come for, on Come now. on, somebody. Yes. Because somebody need to be watching this yes. this morning. Hallelujah. So if you can, go ahead and set up that watch party for us in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes, amen. Please do that. Hallelujah. Uh, we got a few people on right now. Go ahead, all of you at this time. Mm -hmm. All of you at this time, go ahead and share right now. Amen. You guys will be surprised. We got eight people on right now. So if all of you, all of you right now will share right now, you don't know what Pastor and Kimberly see um, as we go into the stats of our page and our videos. Amen. And it's all because of what you do. It's yeah. all because of what you do. Even if you come back later uh, this week, maybe by Thursday and share it again. Amen. You have no idea what it does. Amen. So we just want to praise and and thank God for you all, amen. 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 And we, we 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 listen to this. We call you blessed. Hey, hey, oh, yes. we call you blessed. Yes. We Hallelujah. call you empowered. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We call you, we call you less untouchable. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. enemy can't touch you. He might can make a whole lot of noise, but he can't touch you because the hedge of protection is around your life Amen. on today in Jesus' in name. Jesus hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing like the love Ooh, of Christ. Come nothing on, Nothing like somebody. the love of Christ. Nothing like the love yes, of Christ. Yes, yes, yes. And we come here this morning and every Sunday morning, every Wednesday to celebrate him. Hallelujah. And to be able to yes. bring him in the presence of you all, each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, and just give God a praise Hallelujah. offering for that. Yes. Because he truly deserves it. Hallelujah. He deserves all praise. Oh, and all yes, he does. Honor. Yes, he Amen. does. So Hallelujah. let's go ahead, you all, so we can get into this word uh, this morning. So yes. it's everybody that is under the sound of my yes. voice. Yes. If you yes. could just bow your head. <laughs> if you could just close your eyes and just yes. reverence our great and our mighty God yes. this morning with us. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Father God, we love you this morning, oh God. 
Father, yes, we praise you this morning. Yes, Father, Lord. we honor you this morning, oh yes, God. Lord. And as we enter, oh God, into your gates, we enter this morning yet again with thanksgiving, oh God. And we enter into your courts, oh God, with praise, oh God. And we bless your holy name this morning, oh God. And we thank you, Lord God, that your loving kindness is great towards us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And most of all, God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are our unseen partner, oh God, who keeps us, Lord God. Lord, who keeps us strong, oh God, through every hurt, Lord God, through every pain, yes, Lord God, God. through thank every you, loss, Lord God, thank you, Jesus. through every storm, Lord, Lord. We yes. thank you that you keep we us, Lord you, God. We praise you, Lord God. And knowing, Lord God, Lord, that you are our God and we are your people. Yes, oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. And Lord God, that you promised us, Lord God, that you would never leave us, oh God, and that you would never forsake us, Lord God. So we humbly this morning, oh God, bow our hearts unto you, oh God, this morning. Oh, hallelujah. And as always, Lord God, we invite your holy presence in this place. Not only in this place, but every home that is represented and under the sound yes, of my Lord. voice, we invite oh, your holy Lord. presence into. Yes. Oh, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would manifest your gifts, oh, God, all across this yes, internet in the name of Jesus, name Lord, God. Of Jesus. Oh, Father, and we shall forever yes. give you all the praise, Lord God. And hallelujah. we shall forever give you all the glory, Lord God. Yes, oh, Lord. hallelujah, Lord God. And Lord God, we thank you on this morning, Lord God, that you continuously reveal yourself unto us, oh God. Reveal unto us your secret mysteries in the name of Jesus, that we may fulfill your plan and your purpose that you have for our lives in the name of Jesus. And as we enter, Lord God, as we continue to enter in throughout this year, Lord God, we come to you, Lord God, with great expectations than ever before, Lord God, that your glory, that your glory will continuously fall afresh upon us, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, even though last year we went through so much, Lord God, we thank you in advance for double for our trouble in the name of Jesus. Everything that the enemy has stolen, Lord God, we thank you that we shall receive a greater return in the name of Jesus. For we as your people, we're trusting you through every situation, oh God. And we understand that your love is steadfast towards us. And we give you praise and honor for it, oh God. Take us to higher heights, Lord God. Take us to deeper depths in you, oh God. Fill us with your power, Lord God. Overflow us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. For this is what we desire as the people of God. Oh, hallelujah. Now, if you all would stretch your hands towards Pastor Rita this morning, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask, Lord God, that you give a fresh manna this morning. Oh, fresh manna this morning, Lord God, that it will create an atmosphere, Lord God, conducive, Lord God, for miraculous, for the miraculous in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders all across this internet in the name of Jesus. Power fall in this place in the name of Jesus. Glory fall in this place in the name of Jesus. Oh, and we as your people shall forever give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In the mighty, majestic name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Come on, let's give God a hand praise all across this internet. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Thank name you, of the Jesus. Lord. Bless the Thank name you, of the Jesus. Lord. He's worthy, y'all. Thank you, He's Jesus. worthy, y'all. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's none like him, y'all. There's none like him. Oh, hallelujah. Just, hallelujah. Let's just give him a praise. Hallelujah. Let's just raise our hands for Thank just a few you, Jesus. moments and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Because he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Ooh. 
Glory Thank you, to Jesus. God. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Nobody like you. Nobody, nobody like you, Lord. Like There's you. nobody like you. Nobody like you. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. All Come on, right, let's just, All right, all let's, right, let's, yes. Let's, let's, let's give right. him a hand praise right Woo. on. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. What I do want to do, you all, is give a um a quick announcement. Yes. A quick testimony. And the testimony is not even about me, y'all. It is about our Thursday night. Our Thursday night men's Zoom meeting. My God, my God. We've started our Thursday night men's Zoom meeting. And our first meeting that we had for our men was amazing. dynamite. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, um, I'm ready to call him Minister Floyd already. <laughs> but Brother Floyd Wilson. Yes. He had, um, we started at 7 he had he had um came on and he had already spoke to me in regards of what he would like to do and you know we're not here to uh, 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 change somebody's mind about what God has given them you yes, know when you on. put somebody and you you put them before the people we've already trusted that God has yes. already given him what he should be doing and so not like we hadn't prayed about it. Now, come on, somebody. Not like we <laughs> hadn't prayed about it. Come Amen. on, come on. But anyway, I just want you all to know what a fantastic job he, get, he did. He allowed us, um, a few of the leaders, to come in on his, um, his meeting so that we could have a meet and greet. And it, 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 was, it, was, it was amazing. It, it was, was amazing. wonderful. We all got to know a little bit more about one another that we didn't even know. Amen. Amen. So it, it was really amazing. So you men, don't miss out on this. We're going to have uh, uh, Brother Floyd every Thursday night at 7 on Zoom. So if you all could um, come on out. I know I'm sending the links out. And if you just touch that link, it doesn't. You don't even have to necessarily have the Zoom um, yes. app on your phone. It will take you to where you need to go. So come on out and 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 get some wisdom from God, because God has given this man, man of God great wisdom. Yes. So you all come on out and, and and support him in the name of Jesus. And no, we ain't gonna be on there. <laughs> If y'all worried about us, but we ain't going to be on there. Yes. Um, but what we want you to do is come on out and share your share your time, share your love. Yes. Um, um, you know, um, we've got some young men that are going to need some, some, some guidance in some ways because you know what? Um, Floyd's not a not a young man, but he ain't an old man either. Come on, somebody. <laughs> and he's got great wisdom that God has given him. And not only that, we have some other men that are in the same. They have great wisdom to help raise up these men and young men and you young know who men and women. That's of God. Reggie. That, 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 yeah, that's uh -huh. Reggie. Uh -huh. that's that Reggie. will help My guide goodness. these young men on their way. You, you yes. guys can even tag team like uh, the, the, the way that our uh, young ladies do, our elders do in our women's meeting, however you want to do it. But y'all come on out and support our man yes. of God. Yes. All right, come on, let's give him a hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am very excited about the men, and I'm going to tell you this right now. The women dominate the church. Yes. But it's time for well, the, the women to support the men mm -hmm. and get them to move forward and encourage them to move forward. You know, um, we were raised in a house with a father, so we know what it is. What We know what it's like mm -hmm. to sit up under a man. Yes. You understand? And we know that the man should be pushed forward. And when a, listen, when a man speaks, a man has just spoken. Amen? Amen. And we have to, as women, we have to honor that. You understand? And not to bring the man down, but to push the man and raise him up and exalt him. Amen. amen. Because then amen. you would be surprised what would be revealed in and through that man. If you encourage him, you build him up with words. Amen. And, 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 and not to be hard on him. Amen. And so we want these men that are coming together today is to get united together as amen. one. Amen. In the body of Christ. We desire that these men get up, get their, listen, get their gifts stirred up so they can begin to stand in the, in the positions and the area in the body of Christ where God, 
Hear me? Where God has called them to be. Amen? Amen. Uh, we're going to start having classes pretty soon, and I'm hoping real soon, because it's been on my mind of, that Pastor Kimberly and myself start some classes uh, throughout the week. But what, what we have to do is we got to wait until her schedule gets back normal yes. again. Amen. And so that we can start teaching, amen, to get everybody up where they need to be. And so uh, International Christian Fellowship, all of you partners, all of you, because you're not members, you're not a member like you're in a club. You are partners, amen, amen. and we amen. are That's partners it. together. In and Christ. it's time yes. for mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. to start thinking about moving forward, taking the next step. Because you know what? Uh... We'll be out from this uh, uh, video and we'll be in a building or either we'll be back in the school, however God has it. Amen. But when we do, we want to be on a higher level than what we did before we came up out of that school. Absolutely. So I'm encouraging you all, men, please, um, come on, you know. Um, you don't even have, listen, you don't even have to be at home. A lot of times when we have our women's meeting, do you know Pastor Kimberly is driving? Mm-hmm. For real, you don't have to be at home. You can be walking through the grocery store. But just chime in and men support men. Can somebody say that? Uh -huh. Somebody repeat that after me. Type that in. Men support mm -hmm. men and raise up uh, 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 mighty men of valor. Gi men that are giants in the spirit. Amen? Mm -hmm. No more men sitting on the side. Amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need the men to raise up. Somebody said we need the men, men to raise up. up. And we're going to support them. We're going to love them. We're going to encourage them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody give the men in ICF a hand praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If I wasn't on camera, I would stand up for the men. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So keep up. Keep on doing what you're doing, ICF men and women of God. Amen. God is looking at all that we do and all that we put forth, amen, to do all, uh, forth to uh, all the things he has called us to do. He is looking at us, amen. amen. And so we don't want to miss a beat, amen. I'm going to turn it back over to Pastor Kimberly right now, and we're going to open up in prayer, and we're going to get on with the word, amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Kimberly. All right. We already opened up in prayer, but I did want to say this. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> amen. We are excited. We are excited about our men's group, Amen. But yes. What I did want to say is that be sure, um, um, men of God, that you invite your friends, you invite your loved ones, you invite those um, that you love to come in and get a word. And we, you have to remember this. Men beget men. That is correct. Men beget men. Yes. Women can't go beget a man. We can go beget women. But men beget men. So that's yes. all I want to say. And I'm going to turn it back over to Rita. So Pastor Rita, so we can get yes. into the word. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I know we're going back and forth. Amen. But, but this is an important topic. I know it is. It really is. It's really very important to me. Amen. <laughs> so um, I'm excited about it. And so you guys, y'all get hooked up on Friday. And um, what y'all say Thursday, there, Thursday, thir Thursday. Uh, Thursday at 7 o'clock, what y'all say there, we'll stay there. Amen. That's how Amen. Hallelujah. Absolutely. And you get on there and you get ready. Just get ready for God to move mightily in your mind. Over here, uh, Floyd says great topics and uh, guest speakers will be a part of their Woo! journey. Y'all hear what I'm saying? All right. Amen. See, we, we, listen, y'all. Men. Men. Men of God. Y'all go ahead and tune in, amen, because we're excited about this. Amen. No more, somebody say, no more men sitting on the sideline. <laughs> no more men sitting on the sideline. We as women are exalting you. We are we're, we're, uh, 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 lifting you up and we're encouraging you and then loving on you, amen. So um, go ahead and be there on Thursday at 7 o'clock, amen. So let's get on with the sermon, amen. We are excited. I want to let you know me and Kim had, me and Pastor Kimberly, we had church before we got on here, okay? So I don't know about y'all. We get all fired up before we even hit the, hit the uh, go button, amen? So we get all excited and amen. So listen, we're going on part three of First Fruits, amen? And I'm going to open up in prayer. So if you are sitting next to anybody in your household or whatever, um, go ahead and latch on hands. Amen. And even if they're not watching, go ahead and ask them to come on in and let's pray together. Amen. And so just pray along with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word that is holy, most holy and most powerful. 
We thank you that, Lord God, that your word will be spoken today with clarity. Lord God, that it may fall on good ground. Yes, so, Father, we thank you and we praise you for everything that you're doing on today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you have brought us out. And, Lord God, that you have set us aside and let no weapon formed against us prosper, Lord God. So in that, Lord God, I ask that, Lord God, that you continue to bless your people, continue to strengthen your people, continue by your spirit to encourage them, Lord God, even as we encourage them, Father. So we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, and let your word go forth, Lord God. Let it fall on good ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So listen, we're going to talk today about activating the audacity of the first fruits faith. Amen. Let me say it again. We're going to talk about activating the, let me say that word because I had coffee and I'm talking too fast. The audacity, the audacity to operate in first fruits faith. We're going to have to have faith to operate in, but we're going to have to have a bold kind of faith, a courageous kind of faith, because a lot of people get squeamish about it. Amen. So somebody say, I have the audacity, the audacity to, to operate in first fruits faith. Amen. So let's go over to Proverbs uh, three and nine. Amen. I don't know why I drank that coffee this morning. I'm on top of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Proverbs 3 and 9 says, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thy increase. 10 says, So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Amen. In the Hebrew, first fruits mean bakurum, the word bakurum, amen, which really means, amen, promise to come. I'm going to say it again. First fruits mean in Hebrew, bakurum, which means promise to come. So let's go back to uh, Proverbs 3 and 10, where it says, So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Now listen, your presses shall burst out with a new wine, not old wine, not the old way that we've done things, amen? Not the old way that we we operated in, but listen, presses are the press that you're going to put your new, your, your, your new, um, uh, fruit in your grapes. Amen. Our presses, which are reservoirs that the grapes are crushed and squeezed out in it. Amen. And so it says in the, in the word, it says burst out means over the limit. When it says in 10, it says, and thou presses shall burst out with new wine. That means that when it bursts out, that it will burst out over limit. Amen. Meaning that you won't have room enough for it. Amen. So the new wine means that it's fresh, it's sweet. Amen. And he will put it into new wine skins. So this wine is a supernatural ability that will be on your life, amen, that will cause businesses and opportunities and promotions to come into your life, amen. This new wine, amen, this, 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 uh, a fresh power on your life, amen? You will experience God's finest. You will experience God's best, amen? And I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, Pastor Kimberly and myself, over the years of giving and giving and giving and giving, I can say right now, today, if I told you all of it, you would probably get mad at us. But God has been tremendously blessing us. Now, listen. This is outside of ministry. Ministry has nothing to do with our finances because you got to remember we've been we have been on our jobs for years. Amen. We have sold. We have reaped. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? So ministry has nothing to do with it. So you know what that what ministry is for? It's for the building. Has nothing to do with that. But what God has done in our personal lives. See, there's a, our ministry life, and then there's our personal life and our finances. And I'm going to tell you, he has taken very good care of us. And so 
some folks will find that you are so blessed that they will not like you anymore. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you this. God has blessed us and he has prospered us. Amen. So today I got in the uh, in an email and they, you know, everybody wants you to refinance or either sell in this market right now. And so they sent something that said, um, you know, how much the house was worth and and how much was, you know, already paid for. And I looked at it and I just told God, I just said, oh, Lord, I said, you've been good to us. Mm -hmm. So whatever that remaining balance is, I went on ahead and I spoke because I am a sower. Mm -hmm. I am a tither. Mm -hmm. I am a first fruit a giver. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I spoke over the remaining balance. I said paid in full. Mm -hmm. Now, I spoke over cars a long time ago, paid in full. Mm -hmm. You hear what I'm saying? And so God has taken care of us in that area. So this is what I'm saying is that when when men and women of God are teaching on sowing and reaping and bringing your um uh um your uh First fruits, the thing is, God is trying to get us out of the mentality of the economy of this world. He's really trying to get us not to depend on what the government going to do, what the job is going to do. You got to hear me. He wants us to depend totally on him. Yes. Totally on him. Because what happens is we, we get into a financial bind and then we start counting. And we start counting. We get nervous because the numbers don't look good. God don't want us to get in there and start doing that. Yes, we have to manage our money. Amen. We have to be good stewards over everything that God has given us. But amen. You know, if something happened, don't get afraid. Because listen to this. If he gave it to you the first time and if he seen you out the first time, he going to see you out the second time. He going to see you out the third time and the fourth time. But we have to totally rely on God and the economy of the kingdom of God. Amen. We got to get out of the world system where we have to listen to this. Always go borrow something to get something. No, the devil is a liar. Do you know how much the banks are making off of the body of Christ because we can't believe God to increase our finances? Come on, somebody. All right, all right. I know I stepped on some toes right there. Amen. We all have had to... Uh, use the banks but what I'm saying is there has to be a time when we try and we really uh, use our faith amen and our sowing and reaping to get away from and start a little bit at a time hear what I'm saying little bit at a time moving away from using these banks amen listen the body of Christ, when we get a hold of this, it is us that need to be the bank amen and let the world come borrow from us amen listen Ain't that what Joseph did? They began to come and borrow from him. Mm -hmm. He set up he set up an uh, a system for the uh for the uh, uh pharaoh and amen and everybody came and what? When times got hard, they came to borrow from him because he had got a hold of the wisdom of God. Listen to what I'm saying. So anyway, anyway, let me keep on going. I, th that one just took me for a minute. So one of the reasons we bring our first fruit is because we know that the promises is coming. We know that the promise is coming. I know that the promise is coming and it's still coming. Amen. And the promises are, are, are the, the promises is being activated in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. And these promises is concerning the blessings that is resting on our house and you will have all that you need. Listen to what I'm saying. Somebody got to understand what I'm saying. You got, you will have all that you need. You got to say it. You got to say it. You got to speak it out of your mouth. You will have all that you need. Listen to this. The blessing that will rest on your house is your children's and your children's children. That means generations to come. That blessing when God says that the blessing will rest on your house because you bring your tithe. You bring your, uh, uh, your first fruits unto God. You bring him the best. He said that the blessings will rest on your house. He's not talking about just this house right here. He's talking about generations down. He's talking about generations. And so I said, Lord Jesus. And, and I said, I said, my goodness, my son, he don't have to never worry about being in lack, being without, because the blessing is resting on his house right now. Amen. The blessing is on his life. My grandchildren, all four, five of them, 
All, yeah, four of them. Yeah, all four of them. Amen. The blessing is resting on their house. Listen, when we were kids, we watched my grandmother, my grandmother, uh, uh, Pertilla Houston, and we called her mother dear because we honored her. But this woman was a woman of God, and I'm going to tell you, didn't have no education. But when you walked in her house, you seen nothing but perfection. Her clothes, her diamonds, her furs, you understand me? And all she had was a little bit of education. And she, listen, iron folks clothes for a living. But I'm going to tell you, the blessing was on her house. So when we look at the generations, and you go back and you look at your generations and see about those men and women of God that was before you, amen? And how that blessing have rested on your house. So now we are now being raised up in God so that we can continue to allow that blessing to go down more generations. Amen. So listen to this. God has given us a chance to make sure that when we are gone home to be with him, that our children's children will be well taken care of. Amen. And I thought about that. I said, Lord, I said, you are so amazing. Because when he blessed Abraham, he said for generations, he said, your seed will be, your, your seed will be as, as many as the uh, sand and on the seashore. And that's thousands of millions. We probably can't even count it. But what he was saying is just because you believed me and you obeyed me, he said, generations to come will be blessed. Your seed will be blessed. Guess what? He was talking about us. So when we do, when we obey God, when it comes and, 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 uh, to, to bring in our tithe and, and, and our offering, God is saying, don't worry. We don't have to worry about I don't. I'm telling you, when I got a hold of this, I don't have to worry about my children. And my grandchildren, when I go head on to glory, I don't have to worry about them because I've already set up an inheritance for them. Amen? It's a spiritual inheritance that they will never have to go and lack. Amen? Yes, they will get some, some natural things, some physical things in the earth from me. But amen? But the spiritual things, that the blessing, that the hand of God will always be on their life. Why? Because I have stayed and I did not move and I obeyed God. Amen. Y'all get what I'm saying? Come on, somebody give God a hand praise. So what is that audacity of first fruits faith? What is that? that you know, and, 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 and I heard uh, my pastor preach this. He said the audacity, meaning you mean you got the boldness to really give God all of the first part of what you have received this year. You, you just got that boldness. That you will just do it regardless to what anybody says. But listen to this. The audacity of first fruits faith means bold or disregard of normal restraints. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to this. Or personal safety, unconventional meaning unusual thought or other restrictions. It means you are confident of what you're hoping for, convinced of what you do not see. You even begin to act like you're believing and knowing that the promise of a, promises of God is at last all of yours. Amen? So we have to have bold faith. Bold faith. <laughs> Listen, faith. Amen? <laughs> I said bold faith, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. We have to have bold faith. We have to have it, and we got to be bold. You know, everybody is not going to understand why we do what we do. Everybody is not going to understand. A lot of people didn't understand why it was 100-something degrees outside, and me and Kim was ministering out in the, in the projects and ministering out in these apartment buildings and laying hands on people and praying for people. People didn't understand that why we were... Every time we went somewhere and, I, and, and we still doing it, we feeding the homeless. Well, the people don't understand why we do what we do. Well, they, you know, they ain't going to do nothing but get drugs, whatever, whatever they do with it. But I'm going to do what God has called me to do. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because if we listen to the people in the background, they will talk you out of it in a minute. All the church wants is your money. No, all God wants you to do is stop being dependent on the world and be totally dependent on him. We got to figure out which one we're going to obey. We're going to obey the world or we're going to obey God. Which one we going to obey? Amen? Come on, somebody give God a hand praise for that. We got to figure out who we going to obey. So we have to have bold faith, courageous faith, and stand on the word of God. Amen? We can't thank you, Pastor Kimberly. See, I broke out. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have to have um, 
bold and courageous faith and to stand on the word of God. Somebody say, stand on the word of God. Not stand on what society is telling you. Not stand, listen, not standing on what people who don't understand spiritual things are saying. Amen? Hoo-wee. Sometimes you can't tell folks in the world about spiritual things because they'll think you done lost your mind. If I told somebody how much money I give away a year, they would probably tell me, girl, you crazy. Mm -hmm. Why would you do, you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because everybody ain't going to understand it. So you just, you can't listen to, listen, to what little bit of knowledge they think they have. What little bit of wisdom they might think they have. You've got to stand on the word of God. This kind of faith is not passive, but it's bold. Amen? We have to be bold in our faith when it comes to our first fruits. We have to be bold. Listen, I've heard people say, I ain't going to give my money to that church. They missed it. My God, did they miss it. They missed it. And then what they do is they talk to other believers about it. And they say, I ain't giving that to the church. And then financial crisis every time you talk to them. But what it is, mama used to always say, misery show love company, don't it? Mm -hmm. Misery love company. So listen, they don't want you to prosper because they ain't prospering. But you go ahead and you obey God. Amen? Go ahead and obey God. Listen to this. This kind of faith is not passive, but bold and courageous. Know what God said, he will do it. We can count it done. We can count it done. When, I, when we bring our first fruits today or if we bring them uh, next week, whenever we bring them, we can count it done. As soon as we offer it up, listen, unto God, we can count it done. Listen to this. The blessing is looking for the next resting place. Oh, Lord, Jesus. The mm. blessing is looking for the next resting place, mm. which is your house. It's you and your children's children's house and generations to come. It's looking for a place to rest. Hallelujah. Where there's no, listen, there's no toil to it. Oh, my God. There's no sweat to it. There's no, no, no hard labor to it. The, the blessing is looking to rest on your house. Amen. Let's go over to Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Hallelujah. I got to get through this. I think we started a little late. I'm looking at that clock right now. So y'all just hang in there with me. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So the audacity of first fruit faith activates God's overflowing abundance, producing power to expect great things. God's promises turn to prophecies when spoken by the anointed power of God over your life. Listen to me, y'all. His prophecies become history wrote in advance. Amen? Hallelujah. So when we get the word of God and the promises of word of God out of our mouths and the power of God is uh, 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 on our lives and resting on us. And when we declare it, amen, it's a prophecy, amen. Listen, these prophecies become history wrote in advance, amen. Come on, somebody. So the audacity of first fruit faith causes us to stand before God and honor him who is the provider which is our father. Amen. Let's go back to that honor again. Because honor is so very important. I've been talking about honor. I've been on the phone talking about honor. I probably made some people mad when I was talking about honor. But I meant it. Because it is so very important in the body of Christ. And listen. In leadership. Honor is so very important. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Meaning you don't put your mouth and your words everywhere. Uh oh. Hold up. Wait a minute. Because you, 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 you disrespect. And so God is looking at that. And he said, no, no, no. You, you can't be talking about the one that I set aside and anointed. Uh-oh, hold up. Wait a minute. And you want the blessing to be on your life, but you cannot honor? Come on, somebody. Now, see, listen. <clears throat> ICF. I know that God is raising up honorable men and women of God right before me right now. Amen? I know that he is. So I call you honorable right now. I call you honorable. I call you respectful. Amen? 
Hallelujah. Because I know that it is on your life. Amen. But listen to this. Honor is the foundation that is, is, that is a successful relationship with God is built upon. Amen. This foundation of honor is that successful relationship with God. Amen. And it's built on that honor. Amen. Honor is a heart of gratitude to him that supplies all of our needs. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, we would not, somebody say, we would not be where we are now if God had not provided for us, if God had not protected us. Listen, if God had not favored us, if God had not given us grace and the supernatural ability to do the things that he has called us to do, if he had not had his hand on our lives, we wouldn't be where we are right now. And so I'm grateful. You are grateful. Amen. Malachi says this in 1 and 6. Denisha, if you can type this in. Malachi. It says, uh, first uh, chapter 1 verse 6. It says, a son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. Listen, y'all. If then I be a father, where is my honor? My God, my God. He says that a son honoreth his father, and a servant honors his master. He said, if then I be a father to you, he said, where is my honor? Glory to God. See, see, God is, God knows our hearts and he knows when we honor him. He knows that when we uh, uh, adore him and, and we worship him and praise him, he knows the heart of a man. Amen. He knows our thoughts. Amen. And listen, we just can't say and we just can't do anything. Amen. We just can't do any old thing. Let me say it like that, any old thing. We just can't do it, amen? So listen to this. The audacity of first fruit faith will cause you to prosper to the fullest, overflowing with blessings, more than you can contain, enabling you to become a distributor and a contributor giving to others, amen? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again. I... First came into ministry, I mean, uh, 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 first got uh, uh, delivered and I got into church and started tithing and I started uh, 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 bringing my tithe and bringing my offering. And I didn't understand why I was still having some problems. And really what it was, it wasn't on God's hand, it was on me. It was because, number one, I didn't have faith. Number two is because I didn't know how to handle my finances. Mm -hmm. I did not know how to steward my money. Who am I talking to? And I did not know. So, you know, I'm outside having a fit and I'm mad. Talking about I ain't tithing no more because them, <laughs> Lord Jesus, you understand? But it wasn't God because he's perfect. Amen. And he's not like man where he alive. Amen. It was me. Amen. I didn't know how to handle my finances. I had got up into that, uh, you know how you go get a, one of them payday loans, I had got in that loop. I'm telling y'all, see, y'all y'all better hear me. Got into that loop and I couldn't get out of the loop because as soon as I paid the, paid the people, I had to come back and borrow to make it to the next pay. And finally, finally, I was able to break free. I said, Lord, I'll never do it again. Mm -hmm. And I had to totally depend on God, amen, hallelujah. And so let me explain this to you. The blessings of God, if they are not overflowing, amen, listen to this, and, and, and if they're not overflowing, we have not arrived yet. But I was listening to a teaching this morning, and I heard a man say that God will not, and I've said this before, will not give you no more than you can properly steward over. Can mm -hmm. I say that again? Mm -hmm that God will not give you no more than what you can properly steward over. So I looked around and I said, wow. I said, right now, right now I'm just looking and I said, this is what God has given me. This is my lot that God has given me. He didn't give me no more than what I could steward over. So when it becomes a overflowing blessing, that means that your stewardship 
is overflowing. Did you hear what I just said? That means your stewardship is overflowing. Amen. So when we're believing God for all of these great things, we got to ask him, listen to this. We got to ask him to give us the wisdom and knowledge and the stewardship to handle the abundance. Amen. I've said it and I said it over and over again. It would be like giving a, a 12 year old Corvette and tell him to go drive off into the sunset. Could you imagine what would happen to that kid? Amen. Somebody give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. So listen to this. If you can contain, meaning if you can hold what God wants to do this year, you are not in overflow. Go to Luke 6 and 38. Hallelujah. This coffee got me moving fast. And I'm looking at this clock. It's not doing good. But I'm okay with that. Amen. Luke 6 and 38, and I'm going <clears> to <throat> read it out of the Living Bible. For if you give, you will get. Can we stop right there? When we give, we get. That is a principle in life. When you give love, you get love. When you give friendship, you get friendship. Listen to me. When you are giving uh, niceness and, 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 and gentleness to people, you get it back in return. In life, give and get is a principle. Mm -hmm. Amen? So your gift will return to you in full and overflowing measure. Press down, shaken together to make room for more and running over. Whatever measure you use to give, large or small, will be used to measure what is given back to you. So whether if we we give large or small, it will be given back. Amen. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Amen. Overflowing. Amen. Hallelujah. So God desires is to give us more than we can ask or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. Amen. Listen to this, and I'm going to go back to that stewardship. God is going to give us overflowing, but he's not going to give us no more than we can.